Video games draw people in. The competitiveness, the colors, and the storylines. The game everyone is playing right now is Fortnite. The game that's popular right now. Manuel Ibarra and his friends take shelter from the outside world inside this virtual world. A bunch of people started to get addicted to this game. Is gaming an addiction? The World Health Organization is labeling compulsive gaming now as a mental health issue, referring to it as gaming disorder. But not everyone agrees. Child psychiatrist Lewis Krauss says he has his concerns about this. Parents need to realize it's not necessarily the video games causing problems. It's the things you miss by, by spending all that time with video games, uh, getting your homework done, spending time with your family. Video game enthusiasts, including Jared Hoffa, say the gamer stigma has been an issue for years. Anything that's compulsive is unhealthy. Hoffa says video games have long been the target of broader issues. But he says it's not all negative. There's just a recent study by the American Psychological Association that, first off, 70% of all gamers are social. Uh, the games enhance memory. They do goal orientation. What's your name? Doctors say not everyone is addicted, but there needs to be more research done. It's an area that's not going away, and whether it's a true addiction or whether it's just a huge problem that we have to do something about, the point is we need to have interventions. Dr. Krause says the most important thing parents can do is set limitations. The same can be said for adults, too. Taking time to do other things can strike a happier balance, including spending time with your kids, even if that means playing video games together. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.